Okay, welcome back. We are here to unbox a Saga expansion. I just refreshed my memory online. A lot of great cards in this. Oh, sick. Okay, I'm so excited. I love this game. I think that this game is phenomenal. Top five game all time for me. That being said, my favorite thing about this game are these Saga expansions. I I love, I absolutely love the stories of the Lord of the Rings. And being able to play and interact with those stories brings like just so much nostalgia and like special experience to this that I like I straight up have chill bumps when I'm about to <laughs> when I'm about to unbox this. So I am so ready this is gonna be epic i i love the saga stuff and one of the things that i'm looking forward to like as we get more of the saga expansions on box is playing through the entirety of the story so here we are let's go also i think two towers is probably my favorite of the books i i, I really like two towers let's uh let's not wait any long trouble were you mad that they didn't have Tom Bombadil? Yeah, I was. Um, I love Tom. I understand why they cut it. It's such a it's 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 a it's a weird part of the story that like I think adds a lot to the story, right? It tells readers that there are forces that they're not gonna understand in in the world. There's going to yeah, he had some really interesting songs. He was able to sing, and just like the fact that Tom Bombadil was able to hold the ring, he was able to just disregard the ring the all of that just like led to like a sense of wonder of the world that increased like i think i, I don't even know how to describe it. it it was it was a really cool character to show that there are more powerful beings and to increase like the um the mystical nature of the world so really really cool but i understand that's really hard to capture it's a really uh vibe shift from the story so i i understand why they left it out but i do wish that we had it okay so the treason of saruman the first book of the two towers slash the first half of the the published two towers so pumped okay Okay. Okay. So what I am, I don't actually know what I'm, I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that we start fleshing out the fellowship. I would like another Legolas hero. I, we only have the tactics Legolas right now. I would really like to see more Legolas. I really enjoy Legolas. I'd like to see another Gimli as well. It'd be cool to just start fleshing out the fellowship. And I feel like this is a place that they could do that because we just split the party, right? So we just had the breaking of the fellowship on the banks of the Anduin at the end of the fellowship. And this is picking up kind of right after that. So I assume, actually, I have no idea. It would be interesting if one of these followed the, the, the core fellowship, one of them follows Sam. I don't know how it works. That may actually be how it works. Um, but I, uh, if this follows the fellowship, I'm going to be real happy. I hope my boss doesn't notice I'm taking an extended lunch to watch this closely. Okay. <laughs> we got a lot of cards to go through. Oh, I love the saga stuff. Oh, we got an Aragorn. This is a fellowship sphere Aragorn. So zero threat. So this makes me think that we're following the fellowship here. Uh, zero threat, two, three, two, five. So still the same stats that Aragorn has in any of the other... Um, any of the other spheres. The first player gains control of Aragorn. If Aragorn leaves play, the first player loses the game. Spend two resources from his pool to ready a hero. Really like that. Really, really like that. Alrighty. Let's see what else we got. Theoden. Oh, love it. Rohan, noble warrior. We're gonna hold this up real close. And then I'm gonna bring it down so I don't so I can read it. Sentinel. He's a 12 threat, 2, 3, 2, 4 hero. Uh, Sentinel, reduce the cost of the first Rohan ally you play from your hand each round by one. That is pretty sweet. Because I, I have been talking how I want to play a Rohan deck, and this is going to help me do that. <laughs> uh, I like it. I like it. So, Theoden. Interesting choice. I, I don't know if I would have gone with... I My mind would not have gone to Theoden as being a include as one of the heroes here. Oh, it's a tree beard. Dude, this art is sick. 
That art is fire. 13 threat 2335. Cannot have restricted attachments. Action deal one damage to Tree Bird to give him plus one willpower, plus one attack until the end of the phase. Limit five times per phase. That's interesting. That's really, really interesting. I like that a lot because he has five health, but you're running him in lore, which has a lot of the heal. So if you can have him just heal, he's pretty flexible. And he's he's got really good stats. Two, three, three, five. Yeah, that's that's nice. Really high threat so far. We have like we have in the first two heroes, I'm not counting Aragorn that we've revealed, 25 threat. I think you'll like him fun healing him and tanky strategy. I do like tanks. I do like tanks a lot. Hey, hey, we do get a Gimli. Oh, this is an ally Gimli. We got an ally Gimli. Do we only get two heroes? That's interesting. I guess we got only one hero in the second Hobbit box, but I was expecting at least three so that we could run a we could run a, a new heroes. But Gimli. Okay, so got Gimli. We got Sentinel. He's a four cost two 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 three. After an enemy is revealed from the encounter deck, ready Gimli. I like that. I, I do like that. I do love dwarfs as well, so. <laughs> to make up for all the extra campaign cards. That that makes sense, yeah. The saga expansions always have fewer cards than you would expect. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fair. Um, I just expected to be able to run three new heroes. I do like Gimli here. Is this Legolas? Haha, it is. Nice. So we got a Legolas. Four cost, one, three, one, three. I think these are the, the stats of the heroes. Ranged. After Legolas participates in an attack that destroys an enemy, draw a card. That's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah. One of your favorite allies. I can totally see why. Being able to draw a card from tactics seems very, very strong. And with a three attack, you're going to be able to do that fairly frequently. I'm curious. Is it worth running Legolas and adding... Like, I feel like both of these characters, actually, Gimli and Legolas, are solid choices to put the, whatever the new attachment is that we just unboxed last time, where they become a hero. And so now you can have the hero version, they start collecting, and you can splash the tactics. That's interesting. I like that. Interesting. Yeah, that's sick. That's sick. Sword Thane, thank you. Yes. Okay, we have Aragorn, Gimli, Legolas. Is this going to be Boromir's tomb? Quick Beam. Oh, sick. <laughs> Quick Beam is a two cost and love that. Two, three, one, three. Cannot have restricted attachments. Enters play exhausted. After he enters play, deal one damage to him to ready him. That's cool. I mean, a two-cost ally with those stats, I'm taking any day of the week. One of the best allies in the game for a quick beam? Absolutely. I totally believe that. I mean, a three attack in lore? Those stats in Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10. He is uh, unique, so you, you're only going to be able to have one of them. But, I mean, but I can see why... I can see why... This tree beard rarely gets run with the ally tree beard because then you can like you can bring quick beam in, have him quest the first turn, ready him with tree beard, have him attack. Quick beam seems solid. He plus he damages himself, which uh increases I think it's booming int. Incredible. Incredible. I will be interested to see since we're running the ints, are we gonna get Mary and Pippin in here? I'm, I'm just not looking. Next card. Hama. Hama. Three cost spirit ally. One, two, two, two. Combat action. We can ready Hama. He gets plus three defense until the end of the phase. At the end of the round, discard Hama. That's interesting. Okay. So. That's interesting. So, I guess you could defend... A small guy and then a big guy. Or you could defend. You can just ready him. And then if you're discarding any, throw him in front of anybody. Tribute ally is too good for hero tribute to exist. That's 
that's very fair. That's very, very fair. That being said, I will enjoy playing Treebeard. I, I do find it interesting that he doesn't really have a ton of synergy with the Ents. I guess he does have the synergy in the fact that he can damage himself, which then pumps up the other Ents. I love the fact that we're getting Ents. I love Ents. Um, but yeah, so I feel like... Is it Booming Ents? Is that what I'm thinking? Beachbone. Yeah. He gets plus one attack for each damage into control. So there's synergy there. Um, but I I see a giant int deck coming. I assume we're we're fighting Helm Deep at some point. And um or not Helm's Deep, uh Isengard. And I assume that we will get to see some ints destroy. Elikama, he's not he I think he's interesting. Um you can quest with them, you can ready them, and then throw them in front of a three. I think I like the flexibility at least. It's nice to have a two attack in spirit, so I'll take that. Okay. Next up, we got Arid. Got a horse. This is a mount attached to a hero or Legolas. After the attached hero participates in an attack and destroys an enemy, exhaust Arid to place one progress token on any location. Oh, attached to a hero or Legolas. So we get attached to the ally Legolas. <laughs> I was like, but Legolas is a hero. Interesting. Okay, so after the attached character participates in an attack that destroys an enemy, exhaust Arid to place one progress. It's nice. If you're running in the... If you're not running like spirits, it's a nice way to start placing progress. So it's it's nice. It's nice. I kind of want to throw Legolas out here with like get Elrond. Yeah, if I go if you go Elrond, he can pay for allies outside of his aspect. So you can run Legolas, then drop the turns ally Lego into hero. Le yeah. I wonder if we're going to... I bet the next one gives Gimli his ability. Am I right? Introt. Nope. But I would not be... I would, I would be a little surprised if we don't have an attachment for Gimli that gives him the ability to deal with damage. All right. Introt. Uh, play only if you control at least one int character. Attached to a character limit once per character. Attached to character gets plus two in hit points. Alrighty. Hey, Treebeard. How you doing? That's nice. You can pump up his stats, heal him. Feels pretty good. Attached to a... Play only if you control one int. Tat oh, okay. So you can attach this to any character. That makes it a lot more interesting. Um, you have to have an int to play it, but you can attach it to anybody. So you can attach this to um, Gimli. You can attach it. It's not a restricted attachment, so you can go this and Citadel Plate, have Gimli swinging for a billion. I kind of want Gimli to drink the end draw. I feel like that'd be fun. Next up, we've got uh, Herogrim. Attach to a Rohan hero, restricted. Reduce the cost to play this on Theoden by one. So it costs two to play this on Theoden. That's a cool way to do that. I like the way that that balances, where you can play it on anybody... Or any Rohan, I guess. But it is cheaper to play it on Theoden. After the attached hero is declared as an attacker, exhaust it to add its willpower to its attack for the attack. Ooh. Well, that's exciting. Huh. Yeah. So, this is also interesting because... Is Dune here Rohan? I think he is. So, you can start attacking in the staging area for hire. But... Yeah, so now he's attacking for five. I'll take it. Very solid. Next up, come on, give me a Gimli's Axe. Nope, Int Moot. Int Moot, play only if you control one Int. Character, search the top five cards of your deck for any number of Int cards and add them to your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Yeah, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I am running Ents. We are, we are seeing Ents on the stream. <laughs> Sick. Sick. I love Ints. Next up. We haven't gotten another leadership card yet. That's interesting. 
Okay, we got Helm Helm. Play only after resolving the resolving enemy attacks step is complete. As a combat action, we can exhaust and discard a Rohan ally to choose a and discard a non-unique enemy engaged with you. I like that in spirit. I like that in spirit a lot. Spirit can struggle with some damage. And so being able to... I, they do have to attack. But... And it's a non-unique enemy, so... It has, it has very situational uses, but really good situational uses. I'm here for it. It feels very Rohan. It also feels like the Rohan archetype is starting to form into something that's playable. Next up... We got the Tree Hunters. Play only if you control Smiley Face Aragorn. I assume that's uh, leadership or uh, fellowship Aragorn. Choose three heroes committed to the quest. Ready those heroes until the end of the round. Each of those chosen heroes gets plus one dollar stats. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Fire. Yeah, that's fantastic. Cost three. It's expensive. Um, but yes, gets a ready three heroes for three. 10 out of 10. Oh, Shadow Fox. I don't like this art. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of this art, but Shadow Fox attached to Gandalf. He gains ranged and Sentinel. That's great. Just cause he's so fast. He can get anywhere he needs to be. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fun. Exhaust Shadow Fax to ready Gandalf. That's that's uh, that's good. Gandalf the hero. I assume is probably what you'll run with this. I guess you could run him with the overhill underhill Gandalf and be fine. But uh, Gandalf has such good stats. So yeah, that'll do. These are boon and burden cards, which I'm going to save as a surprise whenever I need to inherit them just because I do like playing them. Uh, playing through them fairly blind, but really, really cool box. I'm so pumped to just continue to play more ints because we got a lot of really good support there. I'm surprised we only got one leadership card. That's kind of interesting. I guess I guess we didn't get any leadership heroes, so that makes sense that you know we got a, a higher distribution of the cards that we have heroes in. Um, I'm most excited for the ints. The Rohan stuff is kind of interesting. I do find it kind of funny. I guess the book does it as well, but they split the box in Ents and Rohan, which makes, I mean, thematic sense, but it's like, you know, game sense. It's kind of interesting. I'm a big fan. I, I'm, I'm really happy with this box. This was really cool. Whew. Alrighty, cool. Thank you all for hanging out. I uh, The next stream is probably going to be on Monday at 10 a.m., but go ahead and make sure that you're following along on YouTube. I post the stream schedule there or in the Discord. If you're a part of the Discord, you can check the Discord. I'll post the, the stream schedules there just in case anything changes over the weekend. But I think we will be playing Lord of the Rings on Monday, so we'll be breaking open the new Saga expansion on Monday. Awesome. Cool. Thank you all so very much for hanging out. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will talk to you all later. Peace.